when necessary, I will always hold my hand up and say that I was wrong. And this is 100% the case with Crazy Rich Asians. I cannot really believe how much I loved this film. And I'm sure most people listening to me just now will say, well, of course you did. It's brilliant. And this is a very much well-loved film. So I watched this when I was on a plane and obviously I thought, well, I've got nothing better to do. I'm stuck in the air for six hours. I'll give this a watch. It's two hours long and I could not have spent those two hours more perfectly. So there won't be any spoilers in this, by the way. So I'll go over the plot very briefly. According to IMDb, this film is about... This contemporary romantic comedy, based on a global bestseller, follows native New Yorker Rachel Chu to Singapore to meet her boyfriend's family. And obviously one of the main things here is that Rachel is is Asian, but she's grown up in New York. Whereas her boyfriend, his family is from Singapore, they're a very, very rich, wealthy family. And obviously straight away she feels like an outcast because she's not from a rich, wealthy family. And there's quite a bit of contrast between the two cultures, being a New York Asian of average background, I guess. She's not very wealthy, she's not poor. And then having a boyfriend who is from a a very strong kind of Asian culture with a lot of money is, well, it's very funny. But obviously there, there are some emotional aspects that you feel with Rachel as well. And... As this develops, it takes a lot of surprising turns. The narrative really is brilliant and it's quite emotional to watch, but for the most part, I just think it's it's really hilarious. But for me, there are two things that really stood out. This is directed by John M. Chu and the visuals are incredible. Obviously because of the nature of the rich family and Nick's kind of the, the wealth of Nick's family, there are some vast, beautiful scenes. The houses are gorgeous. The costumes are exquisite. It's a very rich film. It's rich in colour and rich in vibrancy. And it really does ooze that essence that really is the makeup of the film. But, <laughs> I have to say, Aquafina's performance in this is insanely amazing. And I just, she really kind of, carried this in many ways and yeah I thought she was absolutely brilliant and to be honest they're all great there's nobody in this who kind of stood out as being not very good all the characters bring a lot of hilarity there are characters that you're meant to hate and they're very easy to hate and very well acted and then there are characters that you're meant to love there's a lot of conflict between Rachel and Nick's mother which I think a lot of people will be able to relate to. And there's just so much packed into this film, but it doesn't feel like it's spread itself too thinly. It's a visual delight. It is hilarious. It's beautifully directed. It's very well written. I don't know I don't know how much it compares to the book because I've not read the book. So if you do know, please do let me know if the book's different. But as a film... It's just two of the best hours I've ever spent. It's absolutely fantastic. It's won numerous awards, not surprisingly. And it's just great fun and will put you in a fantastic mood. Well, also making you think about some more important things as well. It literally has everything going for it. If you haven't seen Crazy Rich Asians, please do. I will put my neck out on the line and say I promise you will love it. <laughs>